Rapper French Montana spoke out about the recent New Jersey shooting that left young rapper Lil TJ with multiple gunshot wounds and described their dope, dope relationship. The 21-year-old Bronx-born rapper, whose real name is Tione Marriott, remains unconscious after being shot multiple times at the promenade in Edgewater, New Jersey, according to reports. Other than some movement in his legs, he's been unresponsive after undergoing surgery, according to reports. It's sad and it's sad for hip-hop, Montana said on Sway Calloway's Sirius XM show, Sway in the Morning on Wednesday. Nowadays, they're making the artist the drug dealer and the killer and everything. We don't got as many artists as it is. Probably like five artists in New York right now, the unforgettable rapper said. Record labels are getting life insurance on artists. It's scary times that we live in. You gotta be mindful of that and take care of your health, he said, adding, they're invested in your death now more than your career. The 37-year-old rapper, who was born in Morocco, said the Lil TJ shooting hit close to home because he was trying to help the aspiring rapper land a record deal back when the up-and-coming artist emerged on the music scene. I was trying to sign Lil TJ when he first came out. So, we got dope, dope relationship with him, he explained. He's little bro. So, when I heard that this morning, it went right back to, we need to help as artists. Montana threw his support behind NYC mayor Eric Adams, saying it's nothing but love between the pair. The rapper said he first met Adams at a recent party Jennifer Lopez was having for her new documentary, Half Time. Montana did not specify which of Adams' policies he supports in particular. We have to embrace people like Eric, Adams, and people in the higher positions that can help see the vision and help these kids because we don't have no help out here," he said. Montana also opened up about his sobriety journey, revealing he's three years sober of alcohol and marijuana. When asked what the best thing about being sober is, Montana was quick to gush about being able to enjoy every high of the moment. Really feeling the rush when you win and really feeling the rush when you lose. Really feeling the real experience of life how it was meant for us to feel it. I'm still high and drunk from when I stopped, he explained. The rapper realized he was out of control after excessive use of drugs and booze landed him in the ICU in 2019.